Another option uh, that I'm particular to is biochar. Okay. And biochar is something where you've got an engineered charcoal. It's not really like from your fire pit in your backyard or at your local park. Um, this is something that's been engineered. Um, and the way to look at it is uh, almost as like a hard walled sponge. And what happens is microbes actually love living in it and around it. It's also going to hold water. It'll also actually soak in any heavy metals or some of the heavy metals that might be present in your soil and mm -hmm. lock them away from the plant roots, which can be incredibly important in an accumulator like cannabis. Mm. Um, but the biochar acts like a refugia for biology, meaning that it's a great place for them to live and grow up, almost like a neighborhood. Mm. Funnily enough, the interesting thing about biochar for me is that they know that mycorrhizae, when it touches biochar, will actually grow twice as quickly. Okay. Now that's interesting in itself, but it's also incredibly important for somebody that's growing in a container on a short cycled annual like cannabis because you want to get the most out of your products that you're adding. So adding biochar to your mycorrhizae product that you're adding yeah. can actually give you a much stronger effect and a higher impact from that product. Interesting. Now yeah. you mentioned that this biochar is an engineered charcoal. Yeah. So I imagine, uh, you know, who's doing the engineering could, you know, play a role into how effective this biochar. There's different types. It can also matter which tree it comes from. We're standing under an oak tree right now. You can get it from an oak tree. You can get yeah. it from a pine tree. You can even get it from straw or other things as well. So mm -hmm. it's important to know what the source is. Yep. Um, and then on top of that, it's important to understand the process. Like I said, you know, putting stuff in your fire pit is not creating biochar. A lot of people think that it's not the same. And the reason being is that the biochar that's high quality doesn't ever get touched by a flame. Okay. Um, this is the interesting thing. And it's also done at an extremely low oxygen level. Oh. What happens is you actually run sort of a, you get an ignition and then you run hot air over it and it actually cooks itself down in that low oxygen environment. So you're burning off a lot of the volatiles and you're just keeping that, what becomes graphite essentially, which is a really hard walled carbon. And like I said, that sort of sponge effect in the soil.